You touched briefly on the benefits of chess uh, for children. So um, can you go into a bit more detail? If a parent allows their child to learn chess, what benefits can they expect? Well, you see that chess is a game that takes many concepts. I think in order for me to, to explain that, I will go to, to uh, you know, another example. Let us, for an example, say you are not so good with language. Mm -hmm. And you are then uh, encouraged, you know, to sort of debate, to be part, to be a member of the, of the debating team. Mm -hmm. Now, when you are debating, what is it that you are going to be doing? You are going to be competitive. You'll be competing in a fun way, uh, but to get yourself ready, you are going to have to to learn certain language uh, words. You're going to have to, you know, know the meaning of of languages. You're going to have to learn to to, to think on your feet. And, and argue and so on. So I think that, you know, that is precisely what is would be happening with, with chess because first and foremost, I showed you the board, you know, mm -hmm. and the board is more like a Cartesian plane. Number two, the pieces, the pieces themselves have got, have got value. You've got a piece that is worth five points, a piece that is worth three points, a piece that is worth nine points, a piece that is worth a point, and so on and so on, you know? And you've got all these pieces. And when you are calculating as the pieces exchange, remember before you, 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 you exchange the pieces, you have to think, if I go there, that piece will take me and I will take back, mm -hmm. right? And you are already having to calculate using mathematics in order for you to see who's up, who's down. But it's not just, just a question of mathematical value. It's also a question of strength. You know, sometimes the value itself is, is, is not absolute. You know, the same way as in life, you would understand that the value is not absolute. Um, you know, uh, so at some point you may, you may trade a piece that is worth five points with a piece that is worth one point for certain benefits. Right. So now you are starting to understand, you, you, you're getting the kid to understand the value and, and, and understanding the changing in value. You know, so later on, uh, you know, you, 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 you'd find that uh, a, a piece may be, for an example, let's say a bishop in chess. There may be a bishop which, has, which is worth more than the other bishop for the mere reason of where the bishop is or where the pawn structures, like, you know, the structure of the other pieces means that this bishop has more value, will do more than the other bishop. So if I wanted to trade this bishop for the other bishop, that you would have in chess to understand the, the, the value of that, you know, that this actually shows you, I mean, with things that are in the world dynamic, you know, if you think about currency, you know, why a certain, uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 why then you would have differences in currencies, for an example, you know, and all these factors, you would, you would be in a position to better understand it, mm. that, you know, it's not just one in one, there are other factors that are involved in the one, you know. Um, so, and that was just, for example, in the mathematical side, but then comes the logical side, the idea of, of solving problems and understanding that when you are solving a problem, there is a method that you have to introduce. And we learn this, for example, in mathematics. Uh, let's say we want a value that we don't know, where we, we have uh, uh, values that we know and the value we don't know. So we put the value that we, we know on one side and the value that we don't know on the other side, mm -hmm. right? And then we'll find out what the value in comparison with the other values is, right? So that, you know, you would, you would, you would then uh, also sort of uh, try to solve in, in chess, but not necessarily in a in a in a raw mathematical way. In that way, you would you would be trying to figure out how you can do something. But there will be a specific thought process that you have to go through. You have to also look at the knowns and the unknowns. You have to say to yourself, what is it that I know? about this position i know i can do this i know i can do that so you you have to look at the absolutes what you know we've got we've got sort of knowns well at a higher level in chess um which is called you know strategy you know that in such a given position this and that and that is capable of doing this you know so these are the things you would be using to find the knowns and you would then be using them to find the unknown 
which would be how should I proceed with my strategy? So it's it's how to formulate a strategy, but it's also um, how to to uh, uh, to solve a problem. Mm. And 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 there are many methods we learn in chess. You know, uh, uh, solving a problem backwards, um, process of elimination. Uh, you know, all all of these uh, uh, problem solving ideas you are going to be learning. You, you are going to be learning in chess. And then the other benefit that you're going to have in chess is the question of concentration. You, you will improve your concentration because, well, if you do not improve your concentration and pay attention, you will lose game after game after game. That is, that is clear. So in order for you to be competent, you are going to have to, to concentrate. But what, I, what, is, what does that mean? It means the information that has happened before, you're going to have to be aware of. And you're going to have to be aware of the information that is constantly changing as your opponent plays a specific move. What does this mean in relation to what I have seen before, right? And what do I want to do? And all of this information you have to piece together and be able to balance. Mm. And um, so a kid learns this at a very young age to, in order for them to be competitive. And it is a very, very uh, powerful tool, you know. Um, there are others, of course, visualization, where you have to calculate. Because in chess, when you are calculating forward, you are obviously reaching a, a situation where some pieces will have, have been exchanged. They will no longer be in the position they are on. Mm. But how do you do that? Well, what, what you have to do, you, you, you basically almost have to take a photograph of the position, a mental photograph, and then you have to visualize and you have to imagine the pieces moving and you have to visualize the end uh, uh, result. So, you know, what, what, what does this mean? You know, this, this obviously teaches you a very important, uh, uh, you know, principle that you can um, apply in life that you, you are saying, well, I know what I want to do, but maybe I need to calculate further and say, having done that, what are the, the, the you know, the, 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 what could happen? Mm. You know, um, what, um, uh, you know, what was the, what, 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 what the, yeah, exactly, you know, and, and you'd have to go into it. And uh, so I think that, the, you know, that uh, would be of benefit to a, 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 a learner who would take up, who would take up chess. Yeah.